Hi. Okay, so we're gonna finish. Um, you've been working on sentences. That's the end. So today, you, this this first day of your week, you're gonna finish by taking a test. Um, the first part is understanding the difference between sentences and fragments, and then you are going to put a line between the subject part and the verb part. So you struggled with that with your language. So I want to show you really quick what that means. Okay. So if you have a sentence, um, I'm going to write the same sentence twice so I can show you what it is. I have Mrs. Brandt. Injured her stomach. Okay, so the action here is injured. So anything before the action is going to be the subject. So who's the subject in this sentence? Mrs. Brand. So when you have to underline the subject, you're going to underline this one and you're going to draw a line right here after the person, okay? Mrs. Brandt is the subject, and then the rest of it, the predicate, is the action part, injured her stomach. Now, even though I have her and stomach here, and those aren't action words, it's part of the action. So that's called the predicate, okay? Subject is when it's about someone. It's usually right there at the front, and it's before the action part. And then the action part is the verb, and then anything else that goes with it. Okay, that's the predicate. So if we have Mrs. Brandt injured her stomach, then Mrs. Brandt is the subject. Okay, I'm gonna write Brandt, I forgot to write Mrs. Injured her stomach. Okay, so now I have the same sentence, I rewrote it, Mrs. Brandt injured her stomach. So then what I'm gonna do now is what is the predicate? Again, it's the action part. So we're still gonna draw a line right between these two, like we did last time. But this time we're gonna underline the predicate, the action part. Mrs. Brandt injured her stomach. Okay, so when it's asking you to draw a line in the predicate, that means the action part. And then it says underline the verb and the underline verb here is injured, okay? So we drew a line between the subject, Mrs. Brandt, and the predicate injured her stomach. And then the word, the actual action is injured. That's the actual verb, okay? That's what you need to do because you struggle with that one and the other one. So you did you did the, the subject part right. You just forgot the action part. Um, and then over here, you're gonna tell me which kinds of sentences there are, um, which one has the right um, way to write them so that they're not run-on sentences. Because remember, run-on sentences is when you don't have the right punctuation in your sentence, okay? So that is your, your quiz, and I wanted to show you that because I saw that was a struggle. Then we're going to talk about similes as well as how to use description in your writing. Um, okay, so the similes are when you compare something to something different. So, um, your hands are as rough as sandpaper. So it means you need lotion. They're really dry and scratchy. Or your hair is as smooth as silk. So your hair is soft and shiny like silk. Then that would be a simile because it's saying as silk. Even though your hair is not silk, your hands are not sandpaper. Um, you are, uh, let's see, uh, green like grass. The caterpillar was green like grass. So like or as, those are called similes. The word simile. And simile is when you're comparing two things. Um, it's a fun way to add expression to your writing. Then you're going to talk about something that you want to write about. So um, we did my rabbit as our first one. We, we did it all together. So how does the rabbit look? Well, she is white and black and brown. So that is look. And how does she sound? Well, she thumps her feet. So that's the sound we hear from her a lot. Um, and how does she taste? Well, I don't want to know how she tastes because she's a, a rabbit. So I'm going to skip that one. How does she smell? She smells like a barn. And how does she feel? Um, she's very soft. Okay, so I'm not asking you to write 
full on sentences. I just want you to give me the descriptions. So you can pick anything you want to write about in here. Maybe just an object you find at home. And then you can also use a simile. So lavender is as soft as a pillow. She's as soft as a pillow. So she's nice and soft and smooth. Um, and then on the back of the page, you're going to use, there it is. On the back of the page, you're going to read this and then you're going to pick an object here. Um, it says your teacher shows you an object. Have your mom or your dad pick an object and use a simile to explain it, okay? To use, use some of your words. So this one, ask mom, dad to help you, okay? And then we're gonna do some descriptive revision. So I want you to use this to write a couple of sentences, and then I want you to add some description to revise it, okay? And the point here is that you're practicing using your ideas, and you're practicing using your, your writing skills to make a complete paragraph, make things make a little bit more sense. So your topic, and then a couple of details about it, and then revise it to add more colorful language, make it more exciting and more pretty, more pretty. Did you hear the way I just said that? You can tell I don't feel very good. So more work, doing, giving it a little bit more oomph to your story, and you're gonna have some really great writing. So that's what we're working on, and you're just gonna pick a topic, make some ideas about it, write it, and then add a little bit more to it, and then you're done. It's not too bad. You can handle it. Okay, if you have any questions, give me a shout. Bye.